Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be teaching you how to play a game called Snakes of Wrath. Yes, this game is designed by Dan Casaro and published by Weast Coast, who are helping sponsor this tutorial video. In this game, players are going to be competing to build the greatest snake army and ultimately be the first person to score 13 points. That's right. This is a Tai Lang abstract strategy game for two players that plays in about 20 minutes. And so today we're going to be showing you how to play it. But for more information regarding the game, we've included a link to their website in the description below. Last but not least, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Snakes of Wrath. Two-player only game, yes. That's right. Now the game is going to come with about 90 of these snake tiles. Mm -hmm. And so to set up the game, all you need to do is locate the starter snake tile that features four heads. In addition, each player randomly draws seven tiles from the bag and places it on their own privacy rack. If possible, you should be sitting across from your opponent so that you aren't able to see each other's tile racks. But for the purposes of this video, we will be sitting side by side. And please note that the edition of the game we are showcasing is an early copy, so newer editions might look slightly different. One person is going to be the red player and the other the blue, so you should orient your tiles with your color face up. Now throughout the game, you're going to be playing healthy body tiles to build snakes and injured body tiles to attack your opponent. So make sure to orient any injured body tiles with your opponent's color face up. And so the way that the game works is players are going to be taking turns placing tiles in order to build out snakes and be the first player to score 13 points. Mm -hmm. And so on your turn, you're going to take one action, and there are four basic types of actions to choose from. The first type of action is the build action that allows you to either attach a body tile to a head tile just like this, creating a new section of snake in your own player color, or extend an open end of one of your existing snakes. Mm -hmm. Now a couple things to note in this game, all tiles must be placed in this horizontal fashion, nothing should ever be rotated, and also you can only extend out your own snakes, never your opponents. Mm -hmm. And just a note about the various tiles that you'll see, some tiles feature all snake heads and some feature body segments only, but some also feature a mix of both. And so when taking this action, you're allowed to place a tile that has both as long as you are either creating a new snake or extending out a current one. Mm -hmm. And lastly, you can never place a tile so that it interrupts a head or body segment. The next type of action is called cap it. This allows you to attach a head to an open body segment, just like this. And after taking this action, if all ends of the snake are now closed, the snake is at least two body tiles in length and all segments are considered healthy, then the snake is considered complete and you score one point for each body segment. So in this case, the blue player would score two points. Mm -hmm. By placing this final head segment for this red snake, we're gonna score five points. One, two, three, four, five. All ends have been capped with heads, the snake is at least two segments in length and all of the body tiles are healthy. Now speaking of healthy snakes, the third type of action you can take is either injuring your opponent's snake or healing your own. To injure an opponent's snake, you must stack an injured tile of the exact same shape on top of the body segment. Mm -hmm. Now you are never allowed to injure a snake that is already complete. And some body tiles with this symbol are considered armored and can never be injured. Injured body tiles are bad because snakes that have injured body segments cannot be built upon or completed until they've been healed. Mm -hmm. And so in order to heal an injured body segment, on your turn, you must place the exact same segment on top of the injured one. Once healed, by the way, this segment can never be injured again. And finally, the last action you can take in this game is called Going Rogue. This action allows you to place out a tile onto the board that's not directly connected to an existing snake. As you can see, the tile is still connected to the overall build, but it does not extend out an existing snake. And even though this tile is in my player color, rogue tiles are considered strays until someone attaches a head claiming this body segment. This can allow a player to set up a move for stealing, which is a very, very important concept in this game. If on your turn, you're able to connect one of your snakes with your opponent's snake, you steal it, flipping over all of the tiles to your player color side. And it's also important to remember that you can steal snakes by starting a new one and connecting it to your opponent's snake, just like this. All of these tiles would flip over to the blue side. You can also steal injured snakes, but they must remain injured until you heal them yourself. In this game, you should strategically try to gain control of your opponent's snakes in order to score them and gain the upper hand. And those are the four main types of actions that you can take. After you end your turn, you always finish by drawing one tile from the bag and adding it to your display. 
And by the way, if you ever find Todd, Todd can be placed anywhere as long as he doesn't interrupt a snake and he's worth one point. And as soon as the player scores 13 points, they win the game. Now, if you ever do run out of tiles, then you just take the player who has the most amount of points and they are the winner. And there you have it. That is how you play Snakes of Wrath. If you have any questions about anything that you saw here today, please feel free to leave us a comment down below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching the video. We hope it was helpful. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.